Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're learning this simple but beautiful arabesque move. This can be done as an elbow hang or hanging from your hands if you do not like hanging from your elbows from the span set. I'm gonna show you both variations and how to get into and out of them. But first, as usual, the quick advert for my channel. Please, please do take a minute to like and subscribe to my channel. When you like my videos and subscribe, it really does make a huge difference with the YouTube algorithm and it helps me bring you more new aerial videos. So please take a minute to do that and I will really, really appreciate it. Okay, moving on to pro tips. My first pro tip is to have the hoop in the pit of your elbows. Like with all elbow hangs, you really wanna have it right in your elbow crease. And of course, keep your hands below the level of your elbows so that your arms are angled down. That's gonna give you a nice and secure locked in elbow hang. My next pro tip is to have the hoop on the front of your ankle in the back. If you have the hoop more on your foot, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So really try to think about having the hoop on the front of your ankle or even on your lower shin, although that might be a little bit more painful with your bone. And my third pro tip is to keep your shoulders down. When you're hanging from your arms, especially in shapes like this, it's easy to let your shoulders come up, but that's gonna make you look really squished and uncomfortable. So keep your shoulders down for a nice, long, beautiful neck and a much prettier shape. And those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop. Put both hands on top of the hoop, lift up one hip, and tuck your opposite foot underneath your lifted hip. I am lifting up my left hip and tucking my right foot underneath. Let's start with the elbow version of this shape. So next up, you're going to hook your elbows, remember that elbow pit, onto the top bar of the hoop. Bring your head around to the front of the hoop, and when you're ready, push your hips forward, sliding your weight off of the hoop and onto your elbows, and push your leg backwards. Think about an attitude if you're a dancer, an attitude in the back is kind of the shape you're going for. Finally, you're going to bring your weight back down to the center of the hoop by relaxing that back leg and bringing the hoop closer to your body. Slip the foot off the hoop in the back, then do a little lift with your shoulders and arms to bump your hips back up into a seated position on the bottom of the hoop. Now let's do the hands version. If you don't like elbow hangs, this will be a more comfortable version for you. After tucking your foot underneath, like we did in the first version, you're going to reach your arm through the hoop to the front and grab the span set from the front of the hoop. Your arms will need to be slightly bent for this. Next up, you're going to bring your head through just the same and slide your hips forward, pushing back with that back leg. The hoop may go slightly to one side as you're doing this because your elbows are not holding it in place. That's totally fine. Just make sure you have a good grip on the span set with your hands. For this one, the transition out's a little bit different. I'm going to leave my foot in the hoop and use that foot to help guide the hoop back underneath my bum so I can sit back down on the center of the hoop. That's just easier because you have a little bit less control with your arms in this version. Finally, slip that foot out from underneath yourself and you're back seated in the hoop. Here are both versions one more time in real time to see how they work. I think these are both really beautiful positions and it's a nice simple way to show off an interesting shape using the span set or the top of the hoop. And one more time, I'll remind you to please subscribe. It really, really, really helps me out. So please do take a minute to do that if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more like it. And with that, I will see you guys next time.